Well, I wanted to get on here. This is Linda from North Central Texas and go ahead and plant those few seeds that I wanted to plant. I've got some uh, squash, zucchini, lettuce, red Russian kale, that type of thing that you can plant right now in uh, August in North Central Texas and we'll see how they'll do. So I'm not sure, but we'll find out. I've already got these these dish pans full, but I wanted to show you what I was doing. I uh, picked up broken down bark off of the dead trees that are over here on my other lot. That's in the bottom. And then I put in these papers, cardboard. Basically like I do my totes and my five, five gallon buckets. Really no difference at all. Just try to tear them up good. <laughs> I need a table to do this on instead of bending over so much, but I don't know of any other way to get it done. Newspaper. And you have to kind of tear it up a little bit. I don't want to put it in there in great big chunks. Of course, I don't guess it matters, but... <laughs> Roots seem to be able to find their way through it anyway. No matter how you put it in there. I've got some leaves over here. I'm gonna... put in here. And I didn't have any table scraps right now, but what I did was I went out to my little miracle Grove compost bin and I dug out some of the stuff that was in there. And that's, that is table scraps. It's just already broken down for the most part. And I'm going to put that little bit of garden soil stuff I had in it at the very top. And you'll see I fill these all the way to the top just basically because when it starts breaking down, it's going to be about half that much in there. And we got a little hint maybe some rain tomorrow. Actually, it's thundering right now, <laughs> and we weren't supposed to get any rain today. I had watered them all down earlier except for that last one that I just did. Oh, and I did put holes in one end about an inch from the bottom because I want it to hold just a tiny bit of water in the bottom of the totes or the dish pans because what I plan to do is later when I put it where I want them, I may have something planted in the ground beside it 
and that way the water that drains out out of the dish pan will go into the plant that's beside it. Now I'm gonna plant yellow squash in this because I've only got one of my yellow squash plants alive. I've never tried it in anything quite this small before, but I think it'll be big enough. Actually, I got three little seeds. <laughs> If they all three come up, I can take one out. Put it somewhere else. <laughs> and then I've got zucchini that I'm going to put in this one because all my zucchini burn up when it got so hot. So I'm hoping I at least have one zucchini plant that'll produce some zucchini between now and between now and uh, when it gets too cold on it. It'd be nice if it did rain a little bit after getting these in the ground or getting them in the pots. I'm only going to put three seeds in there. The zucchini. And I've got some perpetual spinach, which is Swiss chard, that I'm going to plant in this one. I've got a lot more seed that I could plant, but I don't have the pots to put them in right now. You know, I'm gonna have to take my glove off because I can't handle these little bitty seeds. And I'm just gonna make like a row. <laughs> can't do anything with these gloves on. <laughs> and you can see perpetual spinach is pretty good sized seed. So I'm going to space them out a little bit. I don't want them too crowded up. enough in there to have a few plants. <laughs> and that should be enough. And they're only maybe an inch, not quite an inch down under the dirt. And I've got that red Russian kale. I'm gonna put it this end of this one. So I'm gonna make the rows this way. And that's it right there, red Russian kale. Looks almost like a lettuce. And like I said, I planted this at the beginning of the summer or in the spring, and it came up beautiful. And I was harvesting it like crazy, and then it got so hot that it just died out. Oh, I don't want to use all those seed. I'm going to put some of them back in the package. Plant them next year. 
And then th at this end, I'm going to put some loof leaf lettuce, which I love. And, and it does th good here, too, until it gets so hot on it that it can't handle it. So, put that at this end. I guess I really should have started in little trays, but I have the best luck just by planting them in the pot they're going to stay in, or planting them in the ground. And this last one is going to be a salad blend. It's a stir-fry mixture of greens. Better cover those seeds up. That's that salad blend I was telling you about. And get into the envelope. Mm. And I'm just gonna make two long rows, I think, of that. Don't have to go very deep, about a half inch. <laughs> Maybe not even that much. <laughs> do want to put them down a little ways because when you're watering them, these seeds are so small and light, they may float up to the surface. And you might say that's not very much to plant, but you gotta remember I'm by myself and my freezer went kaput, so I can't freeze stuff in my big freezer until I replace it. I only have my freezer part of my refrigerator to freeze in, and it's full. So I try to grow <laughs> what I can eat. <laughs> and you know, this is pretty healthy. I mean, you can't beat growing greens or anything out of your own garden. There, now I want it to rain. It can rain all it wants. So there you have it. We've got a salad blend for stir fry. We've got red Russian kale planted. We've got uh, Malabar spinach, which some people call it Swiss chard, zucchini, and yellow squash. So, if I come up with some more pans or pots, I might find something else to plant. But as you can see here, all the stuff that I planted in the, in the um, cinder block holes is living pretty good. I guess you can see that. I can't tell where I'm aiming this thing. Most of them aren't even wilted down anymore. And on that note, let's call it a day. If you like what you see, please like my videos, share my videos, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll get back with you on the next one. You have a blessed day.